Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Data, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out North End Tower Defense, which is kind of like a tower defense game, but also kind of like those Flash games that perhaps you might have, you know, played uh, back in the grand old day of Flash games online. Anyway, uh, let's just jump into let's just jump into one of the uh, one of the maps that are available here. It is still you know it is still very very in early access. We can actually unlock all of uh, these over the course of this playthrough, and I hope that we will be able to do so. Uh, but let's check it out and see what is going on. Uh, the first thing that I need to do before the game actually gets started is that I need to adjust the resolution uh, because otherwise uh, the game is basically borderline unplayable because all of the the, the buttons and icons are in. Uh, are, are so darn small. Anyway, we've got one type of unit here, and I'm just going to spam down this unit immediately because the uh, because the enemies do come quickly. And in fact, it might be it might be nice just to sort of chat about things as we are uh, as we are playing through. Anyway, uh, what do we got up here? We've got health up in the top left hand corner. Goodness me, it's a little stressful. Uh, help, health. Uh, we've got cash. We've got. Um, I think this is the wave number, which is fine. Not super difficult. We only have one type of troop that is available right now. It costs 110 bucks in order to put it down, and all of our troops are doing a fantastic job of, uh, of holding off the enemy. Uh, at the end of the wave, we can choose to uh, get a couple of upgrades. Goodness me, look at that. Uh, rifle gets better accuracy. We can gain 200 coins immediately. We can gain uh, a reinforcement of, uh, of airborne troops, and that's down in the bottom uh, right-hand corner here. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's get the, let's get the accuracy upgrades. Hopefully, that's going to... There we go. Hopefully that's going to make a little bit of a difference. Looks like they can definitely shoot further. Uh, upgrades here. Rifles got better accuracy. No vehicles or planes in the game yet, but that's not necessarily a problem because there is still plenty to go on at the moment. Uh, also, a brand new type of unit. I will absolutely take a medic, and uh, the medic operates in uh, a given area, which is kind of cool. Uh, they operate out of that, uh, I guess, medical box, which is fine. Let's get two of those down. That should cover the entirety of our line. Looks like the the left flank needs a little bit of a little bit of reinforcements, and hopefully now that the medic is uh, is up and running, they should be able to start healing up some of the troops. Uh, what do we got here? Lightning speed medic uh, speed increased by twenty five percent. Sure, I'll take that. I'll take that. That is a okay with me. We don't actually. Oh my goodness gracious me! There are bike troops coming in here. Well, that's quite that's quite nasty. Can also rotate the angle, maybe to make it a little bit more cinematic. That's right, a little bit more uh, Christopher Nolan. Cool. Anyway, uh, what do we want to take? Reinforcements, uh, coins, coins. I mean, they're all reinforcements. I'm pretty sure we've sort of maxed out the max level of uh, of upgrades that we have, which is not necessarily a problem. Let's take 200 coins. That's probably going to be most useful. And let's also stick it in one time, uh, 1.5 times speed, and we'll get a few more. We'll get a few more troops. Right. So now that we've kind of stabilized a little bit, let's use this opportunity to talk about, I think they're called command points. And we've got four options for what we can spend our command points on. We can spend them on mines, it's going to cost us 100. Airborne troop reinforcements, it's going to cost us 200. Uh, or we can use bomber, uh, which is going to cost us 300. Or we can use barbed wire, which is going to cost us 800. I mean, that's not necessarily... It's not necessarily too bad. Yeah, see, look at this. Okay, let's take um, let's take parachuting troops. I'm pretty sure that parachuting troops, just taking it, doesn't reset the uh, yeah, doesn't doesn't actually use any command points, and it just gives us just gives us those two troops, which is quite cool. Let's deploy some let's deploy some mines just to see how they work. Uh, bombers. Let's use some bombers. Oh, that's a boy with a bazooka right there, by the way. Uh, don't like that. Okay. Bombs are pretty useless, but that's okay. Uh, wow, these bazookas are damaging. I really would like to unlock those troops. Let's also get a. Let's not actually use. Let's not actually use the airborne. The airborne troops quite yet. We can. We can still use conventional means to acquire troops. I.e., we can use a little bit of money, and we should also probably get some barbed wire down. Let's go. Let's go here. There's only set places that we can put it down, so that's a little bit of an impediment, but uh, but not the end of the world. Do we need, can we afford any further medics? We probably can, but I don't feel like I don't need them. I feel like we don't need them. These bicycle troops, do they actually shoot at me or do they just get shot at? They don't seem to have weapons on them, but hey, oh, that's that's fine. Okay, I think it's just more coins to be honest. Artillery, I haven't taken artillery yet. We'll, we'll take artillery. 
Not quite sure how that works. It just looks like it drops in random places. Didn't really do much there at all, so probably going to avoid taking artillery in the future. Okay. Maybe another medic? Let's get another medic, just to, just to sort of assist with the healing. Goodness, but why would you climb out of the trenches to get to that individual? That seems highly, highly, highly suspect. Uh, that's an enemy plane there as well. Hold on, we need to slow that. We need to slow down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Reinforcements. Uh, parachute, please. Yep, parachuters. Let's get them in. Think we're okay? My goodness gracious me. Get the bomber on the way there. Let's get a little bit more barbed wire. Okay, this is far too fast for me. This has actually turned into, you know, just pure chaos in a much quicker time frame than I was really anticipating. Uh, I'll take more coins. I'm going to get another medic. I feel like I need way more medics. Also, those bazooka dudes. My goodness gracious me. Can we position some troops far forward in these trenches, please? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we should probably get some airborne reinforcements. I got loads. Oh my goodness. They're airborne reinforcing. They're rare airborne reinforcing on me. Okay, let's let's start using the mines a little bit more liberally, perhaps. Looks like the barbed wire is a great place to deploy to deploy my bombers. That seems that seems pretty good. This is chaos. Okay, I'm gonna take artillery now. I said that I was never gonna take artillery, but I mean, I, I feel like the chaos on the on the map is is justifying it. Uh, believe it or not, we are still on a hundred percent. Jeez, Louise. Parachuting troops. We are still on 100% 100 uh, 100 HP. We've got loads and loads of command points. I need to be spamming these out as regularly as I possibly can. Right, I'm going to start using hotkeys to actually try and place down these uh, these troops. Because I need them. I need them. I need them fast. I need them fast. We're only on, a, on wave 11 out of 22. Already it's chaos. Okay, let's work on the barbed wire. Seems like a pretty surefire way to make things a little better. Uh, left flank is in trouble. Let's get some troops reinforcing here. I'm gonna take 200 coins. I'm gonna take a bomber right there. I'm gonna mine that part. Yeah, we are in... We're in some serious trouble. Also, our medic over at this side, I think, has died. We still have the medic in the middle. Aware of that, but we need more. Okay, thankfully, these mines are gonna end up... Oh, my lordy. There's so much stuff happening. Oh my goodness, the bazooka! Look at the bazooka, dude! Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, mine's in there. Oh, bleeding heck. Okay, I'm gonna take 200 coins. Maybe I'm gonna try and space some troops out a little bit. Yeah, drop them on the back lines of the trench there, just so that we've got a little bit more space to play around with. Our commander is taking a little bit of a pounding here. These bazookas are, um... These bazookas are, are damaging. Let's get a... Look at the speed at which they fire. They just do so much damage, dude. Okay, that... Those mines... Uh, I mean, I have no money. I have absolutely no money. My command points are... I, I have a few command points, but the cooldowns are, are still being reset. I, I think we're being swarmed. All right, let's get some troops in here. Airborne troops. Uh, we have 300, 200 HP. Barbed wire. We can get some barbed wire, but since most of the troops are actually behind the barbed wire... Uh, then that's fine. Wow, okay, we reached 13 waves there. That was kind of crazy. That was absolutely crazy. We unlocked a new upgrade. We unlocked most of a new upgrade for the healers. Uh, that's pretty cool. Coins collected 2,530, and we got 500 HP, which I think is fine. Let's head back to the main menu. And let's have a little look here. Uh, what do we got? We've got 400 and something HP. And what do we need for the next one? We need 900. Okay. I actually think that we'll... Uh, did, did, did I mean to do this level again? I didn't necessarily mean to do this level again. Let's, let's, um, let's go back to main menu. There we go. Go back to main menu. Let's head up to this new level, which, uh, which is fine. Let's do this and, uh, let's, let's play it. Now, here's the thing. I need to do, I need to do a quick little resolution change which perhaps is going to look a little bit funky, but hopefully not, because otherwise the, the UI is basically completely unplayable. Uh, it's just far too small. Right, so this is a much, much shorter map on the whole, and we know how chaotic things are going to get. Oh, we've got, like, emplacements here. 
Oh, okay, right. Plus, we're gonna be able to get the far side upgrade, which I'm kind of interested in. Uh, let's take let's take the medic. I mean, the decisions are not really gonna get tough until later. I want to get some barbed wire deployed pretty much as soon as I possibly can as well. Medics, good to get too. Hope that our medics don't get destroyed by bazooka dudes. Uh, let's get let's get lightning speed for the medics. That's probably the priority for now. Okay, good. What about a nice little cinematic view? Yeah, that seems pretty nice. I like that. Okay, we're a little bit low on the old cash. But I'm content with how things are going. Right. Better accuracy or 200 coins? I think we need to take 200 coins right now, to be honest. Bazooka dude is, is coming. Oh my goodness. Oh lordy. They do be coming. Let's take a medic as well. And I'm going to save up for some barbed wire, I think. Right. Now is the time to take better accuracy. Better accuracy and... Just more troops, I guess, right? My goodness gracious me. Those guys are tough. That's that's something. Right. Two more troops. Brilliant. And then we get ready to go with the barbed wire. As soon as we have 800 uh, points, we, we can go. I don't know if this level is more difficult than the last one, but it kind of feels like it is. M1 have a bigger radius. Okay, uh, not sure what that bigger radius is. I guess we'll see maybe when we place our next troop. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, it, we're, we're able to reach the vast majority of the map as it stands anyway. Oh, that's huge, actually. Basically, everyone. Everyone coming off the boats, we can, we can get. Okay, right, barbed wire. Let's just start at the right, work our way along to the left. I'm going to take 200 coins because... To be fair, we need to we need to replenish. We need to replenish the troops that are being killed by the bazooka dudes. Let's also like set some set some uh, soldiers back a little bit here. Uh, barbed wire we cannot quite place down the next one. Oh, look at how stuck they get in the look at how stuck they get in the barbed wire. Let's go for a barbed wire in the middle of the map uh, as soon as we as soon as we possibly can. And let's also stick it in two times speed. Uh, we need to we need to give the the left flank a little bit of assistance I think yeah it would be good medic is doing a great job perhaps we could do with like a couple more medics I'm gonna continue to take 200 coins to be honest I think um yeah let's get you there I think it's gonna be pretty important to get artillery later in the game but for now, there we go. But for now, I think it's just uh, it's just troops that we need. Right? Is this is this a bomber or is this dropping off airborne troops? It's neither. It's actually a machine gunner. Right. Let's get another medic. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get healing. It's back into one time speed again. Man, look at the amount. Look at the amount of damage that those dudes soak up. That's crazy. Right, next wave. Place a few more troops down. Barbed wire, we could do with getting more of. Troops, we could do with getting more of. Let's keep spreading them out a little bit. Spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. Oh my goodness. Can we go? I don't even want to do a bomber. I, I really, I don't think bombers are that good, to be honest. Right, it's now officially too chaotic for 1.5 times speed. Man, I like that. I like that in the game when you know that you have to drop it down to like one times speed in order to get the full experience. I, I like that. That shows a certain degree of chaotic confidence. All right. Now, I think there's there's quite a few there's quite a few chokeholds here. Choke points, not chokehold. I think chokehold's a wrestling move, isn't it? Let's go for a let's go for a bomber right there. Uh, maybe a little premature, but it only costs 300 points. I think that's probably a pretty fair reflection on how good it is. I don't think it's necessarily that good. Let's reinforce the bazooka the bazooka area. There we go. That's fine. And wow, we have no troops on the left here. Uh, on the right, even. It's fine. Right, they're reinforcing into the middle of the map. I don't care about that. That's cool. We still have our medics. They're still on the go. That's excellent. 
Let's get some mines down in the areas that we have not yet barbed wired. The mines, presumably, would be, yeah, best at killing the big, the big chonky boys. And we're obviously waiting for the opportunity to get barbed wire. Uh, I think from now on, all weapon or all uh, end of level upgrades are going to be of an artillery variety. I think we, I think we need to do that. Okay, let's go here. Artillery, artillery upgrade. Yep. Let's spam down some troops. Let's airborne reinforce in the middle there. Let's get barbed wire over yonder. I mean, if we're just able to get barbed wire everywhere, then we're going to be sorted. Uh, we are a little bit weak in places, but to be honest, we're filling in those holes quite rapidly. Uh, we just need more cash, really. And also, the time that it takes for me to airborne deploy is quite extensive. Uh, I think we're just going to continue to take artillery. I mean, even if we hit, like, one in every couple of shots... Still a worthwhile, still a worthwhile thing to do. We're on wave 11. We're going at speed one. Let's airborne reinforce over here. Let's let's uh, let's launch a bomber over there. We don't have enough command points to do anything. Make sure that we're spreading out our troops so that we're not getting hit with bazookas. I think I'm actually going to take coins because at this point I think I just need more and more and more troops. Command points. We're still a little bit low on, but what can you do? Not very much. Uh, our medic situation has gotten pretty dire. Uh, there's a lot of incoming aircraft that are that are targeting targeting my troops. Uh, can we get barbed wire? No, not quite yet. But we have loads and loads of command points, so let's keep spamming that stuff down. That was a dude that was instantly put down and was instantly destroyed by like a triple bazooka load of nonsense. Let's take parachuting troops instead there we go that in there right mines there we go mines over there i am taking i'm taking hits to my commander let's get the remaining troops down if we can uh i think our our end is nigh even with the even with the machine guns on the back line this is pretty oh my goodness okay so the bikes just blow up when they reach when they reach our line that's it, actually. That's literally it. Oh, gain 100 core health? I don't actually need that quite yet. That might be, you know, the last opportunity that I have to do something like that, but... That's okay. This is very acceptable, I would say, as a circumstance. There we go. Spam down a few extra troops. Can we afford a medic? We absolutely can afford a medic, but, um... But now we can, so I don't know what I did there. Okay, well, I guess we're not affording a medic. That's... That's A-OK. -okay. Just get more troops down... The bazookas are just devastatingly effective. Don't even need 100 core health. Uh, I guess I'll take parachuting troops. I think troops are more useful than anything else. Uh, how did you guys end up outside the... I don't even want to know. It's fine. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop attacking me. Oh my lordy. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos. I, I feel like I'm I'm really like I'm on edge. Where's my commander, by the way? I don't know where my commander is in this scenario. Yeah, this is a little sussy. Alright, well we've almost got the entire thing barbed wired up, but in the meantime, I mean we are gonna we are gonna lose. <laughs> but to be fair, that was a pretty good that was a pretty good gig. That was a pretty, pretty, pretty darn good gig. I am not completely unhappy with that. Not at all, actually. And I think that that allows us, if I'm not mistaken... We'll try this map again, for sure. Uh, yeah, that allows us to unlock, what, armored MG? A machine gunner? I think I kind of want a machine gunner. I'll take a machine gunner, and then we'll we'll jump into this again. What did we get? Double mag. Uh, double magazine size. Expert healer. Heals more than average now. That's pretty nice. Plus, we're going to get a whole bunch of upgrades on... Uh, on this individual. I think we're still going to take the, the base, uh, and of course we're going to have to do the whole, you know, stupid reset thing, which is pretty pretty dumb, because whatever. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure that'll get ironed out in, in time. Right, let's get some... Let's get some peeps here. I think the range upgrade is going to be super effective on... Yeah, I think it's going to be super effective on this map. 
Uh, the last map really didn't feel like it was able to, to sort of take advantage of the uh, of the range upgrades. Scope rifle, better accuracy. Yeah, I mean, this is the obvious choice, right? I don't think... Maybe with the exception of parachuting troops, you'd get much, you'd get much value. Uh, we still have loads and loads of cash, by the way, but I'm kind of hoping that we get the opportunity to unlock the machine gunner. And I'm hoping that it's pretty freaking good or the medic actually the medic would be medic would be great i think the medic is probably better in Ooh, yes very very nice uh i think the medic is better in uh in early waves when there's less stuff happening because as soon as the bazooka is in range i mean we we're just in trouble double magazine yeah i will take that i will take that that's good that's very nice okay destroy the bikes as well Let's get the barbed wire right in the middle. I think we're going to start in the middle with the barbed wire. And a brand new unit of a medic. Yes. Let's get two of those for now. And in fact, let's get three of those. I mean, if we could even keep one person alive, then that's like, that's a huge step forward. We weren't able to keep one person alive. But that's cool. I really don't like how the medics climb out of the map. Um, that's, <laughs> that's a pretty inefficient way to go. Given that they run faster, you know, when they're behind, you know, the, behind the sandbags. And they don't expose themselves to enemy, you know, gunfire. It, it kind of makes sense to, to continue running around in the trenches. But alas, what can I do? Right. I think we're going to take lightning speed. The reason that we're not going to take the, the new unit yet is because we, we frankly don't have enough cash. Now, I have no idea how much, a, how much the, the new unit actually costs to build. But it's probably going to be more than... Well, whatever we've got right now. Especially if a medic costs 200 bucks, right? So I'm thinking, maybe we just sort of try and solidify our position. Let's get a... Let's not actually airborne. Let's, uh... Let's wait until we've got barbed wire. Oh my goodness gracious me. Right, now, we can take machine gunner. Right, so, you need to go, like, right up there. You need to go right up there. Okay, hopefully, hopefully these, these dudes are pretty good. Oh, the range of them is, is just not good, though. I think, may okay, maybe instead of being on the, the absolute front line, we kind of need to set them back a little bit. Yeah, quite expensive. And they do do, they do good stuff, but before they get any range upgrades, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be altogether too useful. I mean, they do, they do deal a lot of damage, though. Uh, let's take, let's take a level two medic. That seems pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's get a nice cinematic view again as well. Okay, yeah, I think we need to set them, we need to set them back so that they're not targeted, like, as the first sort of line of, yeah, up here. That's where they should go. This is where we need to get snipers. There we go. Uh, but on the front line, they are pretty good. If they're supported by a medic, I think they're actually... They're actually not terrible. It looks like they also have a bit more HP, perhaps, than... Um, than others. Okay, let's, let's put one on the front line there. It's cool. Medic. Let's get another medic. Yep, let's get 200 coins. It's an excuse to maybe buy another machine gunner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, barbed wire. Let's go here. Stop the bazookas. There we go. Put a put one of those down. Okay, we are officially in Chaosville here. More and more machine guns. Okay, this is this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have them. We're just gonna rely on the enemy just walking into, walking into just like, an absolutely awful environment. There we go. Right. Gain a hundred core health. I don't need it yet. Still fine. We just need more machine guns. That's what we need. 
More barbed wire as well. Right. Troops, reinforce with troops over here. Yep. There we go. Look at that very effective, kind of ineffective bombing. Okay, fine. Uh, more coins, because honestly, at this point, I think... I think... Uh, I think it would be better if we just got more machine gunners, to be fair. Right, that's what we're kind of gonna, gonna rely on. Right, mine's there. Beautiful. That was nice. Gain 200 coins. You bet your bottom dollar. That's right, we're gonna go for more machine gunners. Let's get medics. Let's get some airborne troops to be reinforced. Let's bomb this area right here. Whilst everyone is stuck. Yeah, so I think the I think the, the gunners take reduced damage from uh I think they take reduced damage from bazookas as well, which is kind of great. I'm gonna take battlefield artillery in the vain hope that it actually does a gosh darn thing this time. Let's get some more more machine gunners. Right. I I like I like machine gunners. So this area at the back here is is gonna be perfect for snipers. I, I actually can't wait. Right. One more machine gunner. A second machine gunner coming online. Maybe soon. Barbed wire. Let's go there. Yep. Mines. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's reinforce with troops right over here. Oh my goodness. The bazookas are coming in thick and fast. Right. Uh, I'm going to take parachuting troops. Again, I'm really not sure. Upon, you know, continued reflection, if the yeah I'm, I'm really not sure if the if the if the artillery is is any good more sandbags is kind of just the is kind of just the thing that i'm after uh let's maybe i don't i don't really want to start with a machine gunner do i not particularly no i really don't let's do this level again i think we're i think we're in a pretty i think we're in a pretty decent place and i think i think i kind of know what we need to do now and we know what we need to do. Right, so let's get... Let's get a decent front line just to sort of start off with. And then let's just start building up the... Let's start building up like a really strong line of machine gunners on the back line here. No guarantee that it's going to work. And as I said, you know, it would be good if we could get... Uh... Sure, better accuracy. Be good if we could get snipers as well on the back line so that we can start dealing with some of these armored units because they are just so, so difficult to, to handle. But machine gunners on the back line would be would be good. Anytime that we get the opportunity to get uh, get cash, I think I'd like to take cash. And then hopefully we're just going to be able to reinforce the front lines with, uh, with, with drops, with soldier drops. Right. Do we have the range upgrades? Doubles the magazine size. I'll take magazine size. That's cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's pretty decent. We've got everything that we need. We're surviving on just the sort of basic basic troops at the moment. So that's good. This is my plan. I'm going to save, 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 save until we get all the stuff that we need. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Okay. Medic, I will take. Excellent. Uh, no point in putting any medics down. Well, I say that. We can put a couple of medics down. Let's start with two. Let's maybe not splash all of our cash. Okay. That was... That was not a super worthwhile medic. Again, that was a super... What the heck are you doing? I do like the ragdoll physics. Right, now we're talking. Okay. Alright, so one there. This is where this is where this is where we start going crazy. Right, let's get some barbed wire right in the middle. Or uh, well, I say right in the middle. It's not quite right in the middle, but it's as close as. Yeah, yikes. Okay, good. More sandbags. 25% more HP. I will take 25% more HP. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, we're ready for the barbed wire. Soon. Airdrop? No, don't want to airdrop. 
Well, to be fair, I actually could airdrop. That's what airdrop over here. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Okay. So it's literally just about... Just about getting more and more and more... Machine gunners at this point. We'll keep them on the back line until we got a really, really good back line. And then we can look at the front line. But cash is going to be a real problem. Cash is going to be a real problem. I guess we'll get any of the upgrades that we have currently outstanding. Sure. Maybe another few medics. That'd be good too. There we go. Should we reinforce with troops? I think we should. Let's reinforce over here. Nice. Keep going. Okay. Um... I'm going to take parachuting troops because we need them. Uh, we also need a we also need a machine gunner to cover this central area. It's pretty bad that we don't have it. There we go. Stick down the mines there, just to sort of give us a little bit of a little bit of leeway. Uh, Two hundred coins rather than the medic upgrade, I think. Right. Nice. So far, so good. Almost ready to get some more barbed wire. Gonna take 200 coins again. Right, we're we're moving towards a sort of really, really great back line here. What's important now is that we maintain the front line. So we maintain the We maintain the the, the troops that are gonna get bazookaed. There we go. Okay, I'll take 200 coins again. Fine. These bazooka dudes are nasty. Let's get a contingent of troops delivered by aircraft. There we go. So basically, as soon as any single enemy walks into the walks into the firing line of the uh, of the machine guns on the back line, they should get decimated. Expert healer or core health. I'm going to take parachuting troops. Right, we're almost ready to go for uh, a bit of a foray into... There we go. Okay, drop some stuff over there. 100 core health. I'm going to take parachuting troops, please. Wow, we just are not able to maintain the front line as much as I, as much as I would want to. Right, nice. That was a good explosion. I think we need to mine the armored units. There's pretty much no other way to do it. Uh, we're also kind of, again, running up against our limit here of... What we can do... Drop some... Drop some of those. Get another one of those down. Yeah, okay. I mean, this area is just horrifically... Shockingly defended. go. Okay, good. 200 coins again. Let's get some airdrops right where they're needed most. Bazooka, yep, get destroyed by the mines. Beautiful. Right, the medics, I, I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that the medics are basically useless. I mean, they just, they die too quickly to the bazookas. I mean, anything that is bazooka-proof, I guess, is this is at a premium right now. Okay. Let's get uh, more troops. Let's get some more wires. Under core health, I'm going to take parachuting troops. Right, we've got some, we've got some cash to splash. Let's get some more machine gunners. Let's get some more regular gunners. Let's get some more mines down. I should be using mines on cooldown. Basically, we have so many command points that there is no reason that we shouldn't be spending more. Machine gunners at the ready. Let's take 
artillery this time. We, uh, we need to go into one time speed as well because I am quickly losing my ability to focus. There we go. Mine there. Make sure that we have uh, some frontline troops here. I mean, this is a strategy. I feel like this is a legitimate strategy. This is this is going well. Uh, 100 core health. I'm I'm gonna take 100 core health. Sure, it's gonna take me back up to back up to max. Looks like I can go a little bit above the max actually. Okay. Uh, I don't think that we're necessarily in a brilliant spot, but by just sort of spamming down, by just sort of spamming down all of the command point command point things whenever I have the opportunity to do so. Looks like it is mostly working. Looks like it is mostly working. Let's take parachuting troops. Let's get down a bomber. Yep, there we go. It's a little chaotic right now. I can't really tell who's on my side, who's on the enemy side. There we go, nice. Frontline troops again. Okay, we are out of command points. Again. But our machine gunners are doing... I mean, they're just doing a great job. I don't know what I took there. Full disclosure, I am completely unsure. Absolutely, completely oblivious. Right. Did have the opportunity to buy one more machine gunner, which I thought was pretty good. Right, mine there. Excellent. Let's just go here with a with a bomber. I mean, look, as long as we're spamming out the as long as we're sort of spamming out the the the, the bombers, then that's fine. Also, there's a little bit of a little bit of a deficit here in uh, in machine gunners. Let's reinforce here with uh, with troops. Uh 200 coins. Yep, we'd love the opportunity to get more coins for more for more machine gunners. Keep firing, keep the front line up. I know, I know we're literally just sort of sacrificing troops here, but there is no other way as, as far as I can see it. Right, we have fully, if I get this barbed wire, there we go, fully barbed wireified the entirety of... Let's get, let's get somebody on the front line there. There we go, okay. We've now got a machine gunner on the front line. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but... We should probably try and move to a 100% machine gunner model now, with the exception of the airborne troops, which we will get fairly regularly. Let's drop the bombs there. Let's keep up the mining effort. There we go. Look at the damage. Look at the damage to this to this dude. I just I plonked him down and immediately we're we're seeing ourselves bazooka into oblivion. Yeah, so unless we have like a critical massive of machine gunners in one sort of location. We're going to find it really difficult to, to deter any of that sort of nonsense. Parachuting troops, 200 coins. I think we're going to take coins. Parachute troops over here. Mines there. Beautiful. Let's get that in there. Let's get a medic over here. Sure. Let's see if that makes any difference at all to anything. I doubt it will. But you never know. Bomb. Parachute troops. More. More, more, more of everything. I mean, just place down some, some regulars. Just literally anything to stop the to stop the craziness. Also, we've lost some of our backline some of our backline gunners over here. That's pretty that's pretty frustrating, but I mean, you know, what can you do? This is the longest that we've survived, and it is kind of chaos, so I mean that's good, I guess. Barbed wire. There is, unfortunately, no more places for barbed wire. So I just gotta... I gotta do double time on everything else. That was a very, very highly effective mining operation right there. The two sort of uh, gun turret... Uh, machine gun turrets that I placed down on the low ground here. They're dead now. Yeah, they're finished. Let's get some, some bombers. There we go. Another machine gun turret in the middle there. Not like it's gonna do much good, I don't think. Uh, some mines. Instantly, all three were triggered. That's okay. Let's take battlefield artillery. Let's go drop some troops. Let's get some more machine gunners on the back line. Uh, at this point, we need it. We need more upgrades for the machine gunners. There is there is basically no other way to sustain this uh, to sustain this stuff. 
Or we need reduced cooldown on command points because we've got 13,000 command points, for goodness sake. I mean, that's just ridiculous. There we go. That's a very, very highly effective mine. 200 coins. Core health. I'm going to take core health because otherwise I am donezo. I'm finished. Finito. Oh, well, I'm finito anyway, but I mean, that's, that is, that is very, very, very good. I mean, that's 19 out of 22 waves. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, grenades, faster hands, and clear weather. I have no idea what any of those do, but I mean, to be honest, the good news is that's going to easily get us another, another dude. Sniper, single targets like armored units, which are hard to kill. Also one shot to kill all units. Or a mortar. Good for big swarms of enemies. And look, okay. I'm going to take the mortar against my better judgment. I feel like the sniper would be a little better, but um, but that's okay. I'm very, very okay with that. Let's start with a, let's start with a machine gun uh, as ever. Let's do the whole switcheroo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's also a good decision, I think, to unlock the mortar on this level because this is quite a pokey, it's quite a pokey battlefield. Uh, plus, we've already got the the machine gun turrets here, and I don't think there's really a position for snipers, is there? Not really. There is definitely a position for snipers on the other level. There we go. Just gonna get a few more troops down. Beautiful. Right. So barbed wire that needs to that needs to be built. That needs to be built. I also want to test out the grenades on, on these dudes. And I also want to check out the clear weather upgrade on the machine gun turrets. Because we've not actually done this level with machine gun turrets. Other than, of course, the ones that we already have that are, you know, in place. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Right. Double mag. Yep. Let's just continue on the upgrade tree for the, for the base soldier. Bazooka dudes are excellent. As we are finding out. Brilliant. Frequently throws grenades. So we should have a lot of crowd control here. I don't know if it's going to be any use against armored units. But it does kind of like... It does really sort of reassess my value uh, of airborne, of airborne units. Because they're probably going to be better if the airborne units can now throw grenades, right? So I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested in this. Pretty interested. Doesn't look like the grenades go very far at all, which is perhaps not great. Perhaps not great at all. But that's that's fine. Okay, let's let's check out this mortar. What does it cost? Two hundred and fifty bucks. It's definitely a backline unit. Let's get a second one. It's pretty decent, I suppose. Um, I don't know what the area of effect is, though. That's the only, that's the only thing. It looks, it looks okay. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this. Wow. Um, I was bazookaed from the back line there. Right. Let's get the, let's get the machine gun turret down, just so that we have the option of checking out the, the upgrade path for that. That's really unfortunate. More barbed wire. You just drove right through my barbed wire, you... You monster. Yeah. I suspect when we have the barbed wire up and running, the mortars are going to be a little bit better. If we're going to be able to hold off everyone sort of at the back, then that's great. This is just not... Look, look at the mortars. They're just not doing the... Not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But that's fine. Right, should we nab a airborne? Yeah, let's do that. Let's nab an airborne group. At least if we have the, the mortars down. Uh, yeah, I'll take 25% more sandbags just because it's going to lead to the next upgrade. At least if we have the mortars down, we can start getting we can start getting the upgrades, which is quite nice. I also have no idea if there's any way that we can take out uh, the aircraft. I don't think there is. Let's get another mortar just to sort of experiment with it. Maybe it's good against armored units. I don't suspect that it really is. Well, no more good than 
I, I feel like the snipers are the way that we take out the armored units. I've got to imagine that that is the case. Uh, okay. Uh, right, clear weather. Bigger radius. How much larger radius? Uh, a little larger? By the looks of it? I'm not sure the larger radius is actually going to make a blind bit of difference, to be honest. That's the problem. I'm not convinced it matters. I'm going to gain 200 points. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we need to sort of convert to, to machine guns now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get a bomber. Right, I, I think I, I think I very much do not rate mortars. Just gonna say it. I don't think I rate mortars at all. 100 core health? Yeah, I'm gonna take 100 core health. Do I maybe rate... Do I maybe rate medics more than I rate mortars? I feel like that's probably kind of accurate. My my core is taking a lot of a lot of damage here. Stop, get out of here. There we go. Those mines were highly effective. I don't think we're along for this world here, friends. This is a... This is a bit miserable. Maybe I'm just, you know, not utilizing the, the crowd control aspect of um, of the mortars. Maybe it's better on a, on a slightly larger map. That very well may be the case. Um, but I also think that the one serious sort of problem that we have with the build at the moment is that we just do not have we just do not have any way to take care of the armored units and yeah that's going to immediately lead to our lead to our untimely demise well that's that's quite the that's quite the conundrum eh uh we didn't even get the we didn't even get the level 1 upgrade i mean what do we got here we got armored units coming metal armor that's hard to get through bazooka sniper i mean the snipers are very appealing to me. Bicycles? Mm, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. All right, well, you know what? Anyway, I think that's a pretty good place to uh, to wrap this little this little uh, this little video up here. I am excited to see what this game has in store. I mean, it's pretty clear that it is it is chaos in a great, great, great way. And um, you know, there's vehicles, there's planes coming. That's cool. There's presumably going to be other command point upgrades. Uh, there's going to be more more units. There's going to be more upgrades. I hope so. I mean, that's that's all very very exciting, and it's a it's a nifty little it's a nifty little proof of concept as it stands. Uh, yeah, go check it out. Go check it out if you are interested in uh, in playing it. It's um, it's it's interesting. Very 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 interesting. But anyway, ladies and gents, thanks as ever watching the video. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon support over at patreon.com forward slash Auburn Potato. Um, as ever, hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you around. Bye-bye.